Most all of you probably know someone who has been affected by an autoimmune disease. These include diabetes, Crohn's disease, and over 100 other known diseases today. The problem surrounding many of these diseases is that they don't have effective treatment methods. So the patients are forced to find ways to cope with this disease. Simply put, there are two types of immune cells. Those that stimulate the immune response, the stimulating cells, and those that suppress the immune system, the suppressing cells. In the case of autoimmune disease, there's an imbalance in the immune system. There's actually an excess of the stimulating cells and a lack of the suppressing cells. This overstimulation of the immune system actually causes the immune system to attack itself. So in the case of patients with autoimmune disease, they're actually battling with their own immune system. So in order to try to find a way to treat autoimmune disease, we need to find a way to increase the amount of suppressing cells in the immune system and overcome the effects of autoimmune disease. Previously, people have tried treating autoimmune disease through interleukin-2, or IL-2, a protein naturally produced by the body. What IL-2 treatment does is it helps restore the immune system to some balance. However, it doesn't completely solve the problem. Since IL-2 simultaneously expands both stimulating and suppressing cells, it often doesn't have the desired treatment effect. Additionally, because of this simultaneous expansion of stimulating and suppressing cells, high dosages of IL-2 are often needed to treat patients. The problem with high dosages is it often can lead to toxic effects and be harmful to the patient. So in order to overcome this toxicity and um, create a more biased immune system, through structure-based engineering, I've designed an antibody linked to IL-2. What this does is it selectively expands the suppressing cells compared to the stimulating cells, which results in a more effective treatment method compared to just IL-2. The purpose of the linker is to actually make sure that IL-2 does not fall off the antibody. Because if we have IL-2 falling off the antibody, then we can see the same toxic effects as free IL-2. Therefore, the design of the linker was essential in reducing the toxicity of the treatment. Currently, we have shown that this treatment method is more effective than IL-2 in cell lines, and we're also hoping to show it in animal models as well to prove that it is more effective compared to just IL-2 treatment. Additionally, I hope to combine this technology with targeting platforms so that we can create a disease-specific model, where simply by changing the targeting agent, we can target a wide variety of autoimmune diseases. If successful, this platform could have tremendous potential and it could help autoimmune disease patients stop worrying about the constant internal battle that they have with their own immune system. Thank you.